Scleral contact lenses have changed the way we correct irregular corneas. Their application now even includes regular corneas. Patients who may benefit from the lens are those with high astigmatism, high amitropia, presbyopes, and those patients who are critical observers where traditional soft lenses are not optimally correcting their vision and would benefit from gas permeable optics. The benefits of scleral lenses is that patients don't usually have a difficult time adapting to the lens like a traditional diameter or corneal gas permeable lens. Scleral lenses are unique in that they rest solely on the surrounding conjunctiva and underlying sclera. They completely vault the cornea. The amount of clearance that a scleral lens has over the central cornea is dependent on its sagittal depth. The sagittal depth is the distance from the flat plane made at the edge of the lens to the central portion of the lens. Now clinically, we can manipulate the sagittal depth by changing the central base curve or the curve at the limbal region of the lens. As you can see, steepening the central curve of the lens increases the sagittal depth. Steepening the limbal area would have the same effect on this lens. Flattening the lens area would decrease the sagittal depth of the lens. Flattening the limbal curves of the lens would have the same effect as can be seen here. Now this video demonstrates an optimal central clearance. It's of a lens with a diffuse beam utilizing a cobalt blue light and a ratin filter. Fluorescein was placed in the bowl of the lens before insertion. As you can see, the details of the pupil and iris aren't easily seen. Now, when you view this lens with an optic section, you can see the fluorescein in between the posterior surface of the lens and the anterior surface of the cornea. Knowing that this lens is 350 micrometers thick, you can estimate the thickness of the fluorescein, which represents the amount of clearance. As you can see, this lens has about 350 micrometers of clearance centrally. Now, this is an example of a scleral lens with significant clearance. As you can see, the fluorescein is greater than three times that of the thickness of the lens. In order to decrease the clearance, the sagittal depth has to be decreased. You can flatten the central curve or flatten the limbal curves. Either or both of these strategies would be effective to decreasing the sagittal depth and thus the corneal clearance. Now this next example is an example of a lens with poor clearance. As you can see, there's little to no fluorescein that's visible between the lens and the cornea. In order to increase the clearance of the lens, you have to steepen the central curve or steepen the limbal curves. Either or both of these strategies would be effective to increasing the sagittal depth and thus the corneal clearance. Thank you for joining us. I hope that this has been insightful for managing central corneal clearance with scleral contact lens fittings.